Hello there, welcome to Just Draft. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the use of Healing Brush Tool. You can locate the Healing Brush Tool under this icon, Spot Healing Brush Tool. You can find the Healing Brush Tool. So click on this. So Healing Brush Tool repairs imperfection using pixel from another part of, of the image. So let's illustrate that. Aside from the Healing Brush Tool, uh, from the previous tutorial, I I showed to you the spot healing brush tool the spot healing brush tool you can just click and it will heal based on the on the neighboring neighboring uh, pixels but for the healing brush tool you have to take a sample from from your image and put that sample to the to the spots or to the place where you want to be replaced in order to take a sample you have to click on or press the alt as you can see the cursor change as I press Alt, the cursor changes into this. That means I can create a, or add a sample or take a sample from here. So click on this and start brushing. As you can see, if I hover, it will show that sample from here. Say I want to take this. Alt, press Alt, then click and release the Alt. Then click on this and it will replace. Based, as you can see, there is a plus adding on that. That means that what... That is the location of the of the sample so if i click on that on this it will replace the image or the spots here you can also select this way by dragging it so it will take select multiple multiple spots or you can select one by one so that's uh, the purpose of healing brush tool. What you can do with this, the what you can do with healing brush tool also is you can take a pattern from let's say you want to replace a pattern. You have a, a file of pattern. Let's say you click on this, click from the outside, and I want to replace this with pattern. Before we use the sample, now we are going to use the pattern. So click on this. See, it changed to that pattern, which is that the tree. So you can do that also. The more you add diffusion on the on the on the tool, the more it will give you a blurry result. Let's choose the sample. If I reduce this, let's say four. Sometimes in different kind of image, you have to adjust the diffusion to blend the, the tool. You can always take a sample from anywhere. Let's say I want to take from here. Press Alt and take from that and you can do this. So I want to clean this. You can do also on this uh, blend mode modes. In the previous tutorial, I explained the purpose of this. Let's say for multiply, it will mix the two color. It will blend the two color. For the darken, the darkest part between the skin and the freckle here will determine which is the darkest. The darkest will remain and the whiter parts disappear. So let's say click on this. So it will blend with that color but for this kind of image we don't we can't uh, achieve that result so we're just going to check choose that normal so I'll take a sample from here say I want to take sample click out press out then click on this and take a sample or you can you can make the the, this uh, circle bigger by right clicking and adjust the radius or size into bigger as you can see the size become bigger and you can select more so that's how you can use the healing brush tool you can go also here and you can adjust the angle 
the shape of the of the circle or, the, or you can add the angle value here also you if you are using a stylus wheel or pen pen tablet you can adjust the set settings so based on the pressure you put on the pen it will adjust the the size of the of the of the cursor or you can press the open bracket and closing bracket for resizing the tool the healing brush tool the radius of the size let's say for another sample image here we want to remove this this uh, this cow for because this is a photo let's say a photo bomber what you can do let's zoom this out let's zoom this click on this to zoom then zoom click to zoom more say so i want to replace this cow with uh, with the grass out with the grass here so you can click on the healing brush tool and take a sample from here click alt or press alt then click so i want to brush on this and i want to take sample here you can do that way you have to play around with this so you so you will reach uh, achieve a uh, better result let's say i want to take a sample from here and brush so i press alt then brush so alt again then brush or click and hover to this so i just uh can control minus to reduce the zoom or zoom zoom out so that's how you can use this tool for this say you have a photo bomber in the photo you can do that also so that's healing brush tool in photoshop i hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching